Hey guys, we're here for another Smash Unbox. And what we're gonna take a closer look is this Asus X507U um, or the or part of the Bibu Book Asus series. Uh, especially those uh, that are not into gaming but would like to do work from home or study at home and you have a budget that is between 20 to close to 30,000 then you might want to check the Asus Bibu Book model So let's first check the available physical ports or how does this feel like. Now this is like a 15.5 uh, inches screen. Um, it looks metallic there but uh, just looks metallic although it's not made out of aluminum or any metal. Uh, but I think, uh, I think it's plastic guys. So let's take a look at the ports. So this is what you can see on top it says Asus and the hinges which is uh, uh, not as sturdy uh, but for personal work use that's that's more than enough um, on the side you get to see the Kensington lock and uh, one USB port which is just the 2.0 okay just one USB port okay nothing's here and front side on the other side is where you see the power port, two USB ports, but this one is 2.0. The, uh, the, the other one is 3.0. Now, how, how do you find out? There's a SS written to next to the USB port. That means super speed USB. So that's a 3.0 um, USB port. So you only have three USB port guys, um, two, 2.0 and 3.0. Uh, zero USB. Uh, if you need more, then you might consider getting um, a USB dongle. Okay. Uh, indicator for the lights and for the battery and the air vent. And uh, it has a card reader, um, HDMI, as well as just one audio jack, input and output audio jack. Okay. So that's what you get. Then at the bottom, by the way, guys, before you buy, any laptop and something is on display make sure that you're checking the model okay the model is here it's on this sticker so particularly this model is uh, x507u you know before buying try to do a quick google search making sure that you're buying the right model for you and the specs and even the price around it this uh, compartment here is where you can see the sd uh, or, or rather the uh, ram the memory and uh, it's using DDR4 SD RAM. Okay, you can expand this up to 12 gigabyte SD RAM, but most of the time when you purchase it, it's it's only with four. So there's two slots here. Um, you can you can upgrade this to up to 12. Okay, so that's the physical. Uh, there's some air vents here, the bottom. Okay. Which is good. So you already know that if you're gonna buy like a laptop, uh, um, well, I don't know what they call that laptop uh, portable fan or a desk or something, make sure that these are not actually covered because that's where the airflow comes in and out. All right. So that's the physical, and over here is a very light char charging adapter. It's very light. It's very handy. Um, it's about also six feet in terms of uh, length and uh, that's why they they position this as a business or work type of laptop okay let's open it up let's try to log in here um, I did nominate my biometrics already so let's we'll log in let's take a look at the keyboard again so it's a complete keyboard guys with the num lock arrow keys and your usual QWERTY keyboard and that is where your fingerprint scanner is okay now so in terms of the specs this is uh, i5 
1.6 to 1.8 gigahertz with 4 gigabit of RAM running on a Windows 10 uh, operating system. So guys, the conclusion here is that if you're just going to use it for work, work from home, or, you know, not slow processing, but medium processing uh, applications, then you're, you should be good with this, right? Do not count this so much on high, mid to high uh, games, as well as video editing, just the usual word processing, MS word processing, uh, internet, video, video call, this is this will definitely suit your needs already. So I conclude, if your budget is between 20000 plus only, this is a good laptop for you and this will really, uh, you'll be able to maximize it. Okay, please, if you like this, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. This is another Smash Unbox.